President. Senator from South Carolina. Thank you very much. Uh, I want to <clears throat> compliment my colleagues, Senator Rick Scott, Tim Scott, and Senator Sass. Today, when we were getting briefed about the bill, something hit me like a ton of bricks, and there are a lot of good things in here. Uh, there's money for health care providers, hospitals, nurses, and doctors. Uh, there's so many good things. The country's under siege. And I was one of the first Republicans, Mr. President, to join my Democratic colleagues. I think I talked to Senator Durbin. We need to do something more on unemployment insurance because the Collins-Rubio construct, I think, will help, but some people are going to fall through the cracks. Never in my wildest dreams, Senator Durbin, did I believe that what we have done is to pay people more not to work than to work. Under this bill, the $600 payment on top of state benefits actually allows people to have their income almost doubled in certain circumstances. And I want to help people. I want to make sure that you, if you lose your job, that we cover your wages. But under this bill, you get $23.15 an hour based on a 40-hour work week not to work. And if you're trying to hire somebody in South Carolina in the next four months, you got to compete with that wage. And if you're working in a restaurant or probably not now, but if you're working anywhere for $15 an hour, somebody's making $23 an hour and you're working. It's just not fair. It's going to hurt the Rubio Collins construct. Restaurants that are out of business, we want them to be able to borrow money to pay the payroll to keep people connected to, the, to, to their employer. Now, what do you do when you make $23 an hour being on unemployment? How do you keep that waitress or bartender at $15 or $17? You've made it a nightmare for small businesses. They're being pitted against their own employees. So to Senator Durbin and everybody else, the reason we're doing this is because they tell me it takes six to eight months for unemployment commissions at the state level to figure this out. What are we asking you to do? To get unemployment, you've got to tell us where you work and how much you make. And what we want to do is fill in the difference between the state unemployment benefit and your actual wages and stop there. We don't do that under this bill. There, you're, there are people getting paid more not to work than they were in the workforce. It's going to be hard to not incentivize people to leave their job. You can be unemployed at $23 an hour in South Carolina. That's more than a lot of people make. So I'm just urging my colleagues, we need to fix this now. No matter how well intentioned, you're going to make the next four months impossible for small businesses to hire. And I can promise you this, if you pay somebody $23 an hour not to work, they're probably going to find a way to get there rather than staying in the workforce where I'm sure they'd rather be. We have created a perverse incentive not to help the unemployed person, but to destroy the ability to stay employed. So with that, I would just say to my colleagues, thank you for trying to bring common sense back to the body. I am very much for this bill. It does help a lot of people, but we've created Pandora's box for our economy. And I wish we could fix it tonight. And if we don't, we need to keep trying and trying and trying. And with that, I will yield to my colleagues.